Hey guys, it's Leo, and in this video, I'm probably going to have to scrap a $17 piece of wood, but I do want to show you a few things that will allow you to get a little bit more out of your cutting machine. So if you watched previous versions of Beneath the Trees, you probably saw my drone shot where you can see the actual studio where I do all the filming and photography. And for the longest time now, I've been wanting to put the Dreaming Tree logo up on the actual detached garage just so that it has a name I guess because it just looks like a, a boring building but there's so much fun stuff that goes on in there I feel like I've just been feeling like it needs an identity I was like well how am I gonna do that And I started researching um, people that have CNC machines that actually cut wood and then I was like well, wait a minute I have basically a CNC machine I know that I can't cut into wood but there's got to be a way that I can take what I have and make it work. So, so I went to Lowe's and I bought this solid piece of wood that was a perfect circle because our logo is a perfect circle. And I actually stained it already. Um, and I'm not really sure if I like it or not, but I wanted to kind of stain it just to see what it would look like. I'm probably going to end up painting it. But this was, I think, $17. It's two feet in diameter and you're probably wondering, well, what are you gonna do with it? The idea that I have is I wanna take the logo and cut it out. I could technically could probably do it with paper, but I was thinking that vinyl would probably be a good medium to apply to this and just kinda use it as a stencil. So what I'm planning on doing is cutting out vinyl, applying it on this, and then just with a pencil, outlining it, taking the vinyl off, and then using a Dremel tool, just etching into the wood to kind of reveal the logo. So I have zero experience with Dremels, so this could be a total disaster, but we're all gonna learn something in the process. Dude, I'm like catching a buzz off this. And you're probably asking yourself, well, Leo, this is a two foot wide piece of wood. My cutting machine mat only lets me cut to 11.4 inches. Well, that's what I'm gonna show you today. Is this it? I could have sworn it looked a whole lot different from the outside in. Life is the sand I've been sinking in. Week by week, I'm spending more than I make it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get your logo ready. And I've already done that, so... Okay, so let's take a look at Silhouette Studio. Now, keep in mind, you do need to have Business Edition in order to do the tiling. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my SVG file, and I already have mine ready to go. Now, because of the limitations of the machine, I know that this machine's not going to cut a full 12 inches. I'm going to scale this up to... 22.8 okay so I'm gonna go over here into the scale section and I'm gonna set the width to 22.8 with my lock aspect on I'm gonna hit apply so as you can see it makes it really huge and that's fine now what I'm gonna do is just make sure that I have it selected and I'm gonna go under the cut menu or the cut settings and set it to cut I'm telling silhouette studio that I want to cut this SVG now, in order to use the tiling option, you need to go into the silhouette menu and set it to media layout, okay? Now, it's showing you the mat here, and then it's also showing you what it's gonna look like if we were to cut it right now. now obviously, that's not gonna work. So, I'm gonna go under silhouette, and I'm gonna go to tiling, and here's my tiling options. I'm gonna activate tiling, and as you can see, it automatically took and broke it down into four individual segments. So when we go ahead and cut this now, it's gonna ask us for four sheets of 12 by 12 vinyl, and it's gonna cut out all these pieces, which we can then take and piece together on that giant piece of wood that I have. So that's how you do it in Silhouette Studio Business Edition. Now, if you already have Designer Edition, you can upgrade to Business Edition for $39.98 through svgtools.co. And if you don't already have Designer Edition, you can get your hands on the full Business Edition for $71.04. 
So I'm gonna go to File and I'm gonna import my SVG file. Okay, so there's my SVG file and what I'm gonna do is I am going to, again, just like we did in Silhouette Studio, I'm gonna set the width to 22.8 and it's gonna make it huge. And then I'm gonna go under Effects and I'm gonna go under Tiling and I want this to tile and I want it to be evenly spaced. I want two columns and two rows. Okay, so you see what it did there? It basically chopped it up and now here's the beauty. Here's the beautiful part. We can hit export and I'm gonna call this tiled version and hit save. And look at this beautiful option here. We have the option to save it as design space compatible. And I'm gonna hit okay. Okay, so it looks like it's done. Now let me close this. I'm gonna go to File, Import, and back in my folder here, as you can see, I have four new SVG files. I have tiled version T02, 03, 04, and let's go ahead and open this up. So there you go. And the dimensions on this are 11.391 and 11.399, which is perfect. Okay, so this is the top left quadrant. And let's open up the top right quadrant. And as you can see, they should magically and beautifully fit together to recreate our piece here. Okay, now the beautiful part of this is, so what I really love about that feature in Shortcuts Lot 4 is it gave us the option to tile and export those files and we can now import them into Design Space so that we can cut them with our Cricut. So let me go in here and let's go ahead and open up these files one at a time. There we go. And let's get these all imported. So of course we had four different sections because that's what I asked for. And we can go ahead and get these imported. Now I'm just going to zoom out here. And as you can see, go ahead and we don't really need to piece these together perfectly here obviously because these are all going to be cut out separately but I just wanted to show you how it looks when it when it actually pieces back together. So there you go, there's the piece logo, and you can go ahead and cut this out on your Cricut now. And of course, if you do have Shortcuts Lot 4 Pro, there's like a ton of cutters that you can cut this directly to. There's, I mean, the list is so long that it would take me a while to go over everything. But regardless of whether or not you have a machine that's directly compatible with Shortcuts Lot 4 Pro, you can still use this with your own cutting software because you have the ability to export the SVG file. Now, because I'm using this more as a stencil, it doesn't really matter that I mix and match pieces of vinyl, because after I trace everything, I'm just gonna rip the vinyl off and then use my Dremel tool to actually do the work. So, so that's really it. I'm gonna start cutting out some vinyl here and put this on my piece of wood and see what we come up with. Is this it? I could have sworn it looked a whole lot different from the outside in. Life is the sand I've been sinking in. Week by week, I'm spending more than I'm making. My prospects are bleak, my foundations are shaking. So glad that I got you When the rain falls down You hold up the roof So glad that I got you No, I don't say it enough Baby, it's the truth I hope that I Don't seem to take you for granted I'm just shy that I got you when the rain falls down hold up the roof so glad
together. I 